until the money touches your head. Then they will see you for the real you that you are. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And lastly, I will conclude by saying that after Jesus was baptized, because he had done things the way they were to be done, he had followed the original protocol of how things ought to be done. The scripture says, <laughs> it was written that a voice from him came forth saying that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. My translation, the New Living Translation put it in this form, it says, and a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved son, who brings me joy. Now the question to ask us is, Can your father, your mother, can our parents look to us and say, This is is my dearly beloved son or daughter that brings me joy. Do we bring joy to our to our parents? Do we bring joy to our elderly persons around? Or what we bring for them is shame, is reproach, is problem, one trouble after the other, causing them pain, causing them tough time. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is it that you are causing your parents? Is it pain or joy after Jesus had done things rightly? A voice from heaven said, This is my daily son who brings me joy. He gives me joy to see him. Because he does things rightly. I'm proud of him. Are the people around proud of you? In your action? In your behavior? Now take note. Your parents may be proud of you. It's very possible for any parents to be proud of an individual. Even when they are doing the wrong thing. Like these days a lot of support coming in for internet fraudsters from both their parents and their loved ones this doesn't actually mean it is right take notes this actually doesn't mean it is right now the next question i want to ask you is the important one is is god happy with you can god look at you and say you and my dearly beloved son, that you bring him joy? Do you bring God joy? Or you bring him bitterness? You bring him pain every time he looks at you and he remembers that you are the very one he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary for. He remembers that you are the one because of you he sent his son to come and die for you, to go through pain for you. He looks at your character, your behavior, the way you talk anyhow, the way you the way you embarrass people, the way you you you, you talk, the, your expression. He looks at you and he shakes his head. What will what will it be? God happy, being happy for you, loving you, and confidently saying you are the one that brings him joy, or him looking at you and turning away his face. Brethren, we need the grace of God to live a holy life the way God would want us to live, a holy living. Let us pray. King of kings, Lord of love. Thank you for your word that has come forth. The entrance of your word, give it life, give it understanding. 
Lord, we ask that your word will give us life. It will give us understanding. We will not just be the hearer, also the doer. Lord, we have seen that Jesus did things rightly. Help us to live a right life. Help us to do things rightly. Help us to do things rightly in the name of Jesus. Help us to bring joy to heaven. Help us to bring joy to our parents. Help us to bring joy to our community. Help us to to make heaven at last. Help us to live a holy life because when we live a holy life, when we live a righteous life, God himself will look at us and say, this is my dearly beloved son or daughter in whom we are well pleased. He or she that brings me joy. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, remember that this is the money devotion. Please do well to share with your loved ones. Share this devotion. Please do well to also comment. Do well to help us like. Thank you for listening today. We'll see you tomorrow morning. And remember, soon we'll be starting our midnight prayer. It will be a section whereby all Christians who can now who can all gather and pray live. In the ninth, you have will be your prayer partner. We will pray together on a live station, on a live podcast. God will bless us. God will bless you. God bless every member of your family. As you go out today, things will work out for you. That business will work out for you. That appointment will work out well for you. You go out, you return back safe and sound. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't start your day without your devotion. Follow us on the 6 is 12 podcast for your friends. Don't start your day without your devotion. Follow us on the 6 is 12 podcast for refreshing Bible devotions.